friends, and welcome to another segment of SingingCook.com. I am your singing cook, Dave, and we are here today at the majestic Kermwood Country Club in historic Salem, Massachusetts, where we are going to meet the head chef here at the Kermwood Country Club, Jake Strickler. Believe me, as fantastic and majestic as this golf course is, the chef is on an equal par. And so with that being said, I think it's time to go hit the tea with Chef Jake. And as I promised you, we are here in the kitchen with Chef Jake Strickler. Jake, how are you, my friend? Very good. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. And uh, Jake uh, is the chef here at the Kermwood Country Club in Salem. And uh, Jake, how many years have you been doing this kind of stuff? I've been uh, doing it for approximately 35 years. 35? I've been here with the Kermwood Country Club 15 years. Okay. And uh, believe me, I've had Jake's, uh, I had a filet here not too long ago at a function. And it was like putting a fork through butter. It was so delicious. Well, I mean, the secret to that, Dave, is because we grow our own cows in back of the uh, kitchen on the 15 T. You know something? I think I hit one of them before, and they were mooing. As a, yeah, as a hit. Nope. <laughs> I like your sense of humor. Uh, what is the representation of this chicken that we have in well, front of me? Today we're going to make a Caesar salad, which one of the ingredients is a uh, an egg. And one of the burning questions people always have, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? That doesn't really matter. But what does matter is making Caesar salad. First thing you do need is an egg, pasteurized egg, to keep people safe and not sick. Okay. Makes sense to me. And there's the answer to the burning question. So now what comes first? We're going to make the dressing for the Caesar salad. We take an egg, pasteurized egg, and put it in a bowl. Take a little bit of anchovies. These are fr uh, fresh anchovies from uh, Spain, white anchovies. And we break up the anchovies a little bit in the egg. Smells, next, smells good. Next couple of ingredients are, of course, we need garlic, because every good Caesar has a little bit of garlic flavor in it. And what we're going to do is finely mince one clove of garlic. But I personally like two cloves with more garlic taste. So we're going to put two cloves of garlic. Our next ingredient is some nice uh, mustard. This one is from Dijon, France. A couple of tablespoons. A little bit of uh, lemon juice. You put it right through your fingers to catch any seeds. We don't want to be choking on seeds while we're eating our salad. Mix that up. And our next uh, key ingredient is the olive oil. And one egg will take about a half a cup or so of olive oil, and we slowly drizzle in the olive oil till the dressing is nice and thick. Takes a couple of minutes. All right, my new best friend, the chicken. Jake, we're going to move on to the second okay. uh, part of our thing now. Before we uh, go further, however, um, you mentioned something to me um, just a second ago, uh, the history of the Caesar salad. And I've always been under the impression that the Caesar salad came from Italy. The origin was from Italy. You have a different story. Yeah. Well, it's another story. It's actually a fact. So uh, most people think Caesar salad is uh, synonymous with Italian cooking. But the Caesar salad itself was in, uh, composed in the early 19th hundreds by an, a man named Caesar uh, Catini who lived in Tijuana, Mexico. He had a restaurant there and one day he ran out of food and all that was left was romaine lettuce, some garlic, some oil and uh, as a last minute he, he put this salad together and served everyone and he became popular and famous for his Caesar salad. So is his version of let us entertain you. Before we proceed and make the Caesar salad, we're going to make a special topping for the salad. As uh, kids, my mom always used to make for breakfast, she would call it eggs in a hole. And what it was was a piece of uh, bread, a little crusty bread, and she'd cut out a hole in it, put it in a frying pan, cooked one side, turn it to the other side, and then she'd take the egg, Drop it in the hole and cook it for a few minutes. And we'll be waiting, 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 hungry until we got the, uh, the egg for breakfast. Then we'd flip it over. And after two minutes, it'd be ready. We'd shut it off. And it would look something like this. OK, 
Okay, now, Chef Jake, you said uh, your mother used to make that. Uh, this recipe, you're originally from Poland, I believe? Actually, I was born there. Yes, I, I was. Okay, and this recipe is a, a Polish recipe? Well, uh, actually, I think it's uh, around the world. People make some, uh, similar versions. of uh, Some of the versions of poached egg on toast, right. that kind of thing. But growing up, um, I, was, uh, I thought it was Polish because my mom was Polish, so naturally. Uh, we had that for breakfast many, many times. Creative. Okay, we're going to proceed and finish our salad. And what we need is a nice uh, crispy head of lettuce, romaine. And what I do is I cut off the top of the, uh, the lettuce and we save that for our rabbits in the back, grazing next to the cows. I was going to say, and the cows. Yeah. And now we have a perfect head of uh, romaine lettuce for our Caesar salad. What I do is grab the end of the uh, lettuce and cut it into four sections. One here, one here, and we have four sections of lettuce. We chop that into nice large pieces. Place it into a bowl with the dressing. And we take some nice Parmesan cheese, sprinkle that in, mix it one more time, and place it into our salad bowl. You folks don't know where you're missing. This is, hmm. Of course, we take our uh, egg in a hole and place that right on top of the uh, salad. Take some nice, fresh clack, uh, cracked black pepper. And there we go. Classic Caesar salad. With delicious. A Can't wait to try some. Do I get a chance? It looks delicious, Jake. Thank you so much, Jake Thank Strickler you. from the Kermit Country Club. He taught me about chicken, the cows grazing out on the 15th hole, um, you know, I mean, what else? The egg in the hole. The egg in the hole, I'm going to make that for breakfast tomorrow. And the origins of Caesar salad. And the origins of Caesar salad, we all learned something here during this segment. Jake Strickland, my friend, thank you. Thank you. All right, God bless.